Hello, I'm Dan from Barcode Earth out of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install a Zebra GK420D printer. Um, we're going to set this for 4x6 shipping labels and we're going to set this um, to print labels from eBay. So this is going to be a two-step process. The first step is us connecting the printer directly to um, the computer and the second part is going to be us configuring this to eBay. So make sure that you have your GK420D printer. Um, there's a power supply which plugs into the wall and then the other end plugs into the back of the printer and then there's like a little square um, USB printer cable that plugs into the back of the printer then the other end of the USB plugs directly into the printer or into the computer sorry. Um, then what you want to do is close the lid until you have a solid green light on the printer. So once you have that, um, you can go ahead and start doing what I'm doing now. So I'm just gonna go to our website. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna be barcode earth.com. So when you get to this website, you're gonna go to the fifth tab over from the top, it's gonna to be the support and downloads. You're gonna click on this, and then you're gonna scroll down to this right here where it says, Seagull driver works well with Chrome. Now, I am using Firefox, you can use Chrome, you can use Edge, really any of these is okay. Um, so this is gonna redirect me to this page, and this is a bartender driver that goes with this. And you're gonna see right here on this side it says, to select your printer. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to Zebra, okay? And then we're gonna search for the model. And we're gonna do Zebra GK420D. Um, I like to do ZPL, Some, depending on what you're using these for, it may change or whatever. But we're gonna go ahead and download this driver. So what it's gonna do is open up, hopefully. Yep, and sometimes it might show, if you're doing Chrome, it might show up down here, and, and depending on how it is, but it should open up. It does take a little bit of time, but it may have opened up right here. So there it is, a zebra. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and accept the terms. Hit next, next again. I don't like to read the instructions. Um, Now it's got a little security thing coming up. Hit yes. Install driver, yes. So this is gonna search on this to see if the printer's plugged in. I've already plugged mine in and it's connected on here. Um, it's not showing up right now or it's not recognizing. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Um, what I'm gonna try doing is it does state to go ahead and um, you know, restart your printer. So I'm going to flip the switch off on the back. I wait about five seconds, then turn it back on, and hopefully it will detect it. So there it goes. See, it just detected it. And it, it's, poor, it's guessing that it's in, or it's stating that it's in USB port 001, which is good. So it's already detected that. And now it's gonna name it. I like to share the printer, but you can not share it if you don't want. Hit next, and then I hit finish. And this should install the driver into the actual printer or into the computer so that we can set this up. Okay, then I hit close. We don't need to be in this anymore. I'm gonna minimize this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the control panel. 
in the search bar, just type in control panel. Then I go into under hardware and sound view devices and printers. Then I go in here and I see this right here. This is the icon right here. This one, I don't know why it showed up. It probably just, you know, when we turn it back on, it probably installed it. But this is the one that we're looking at. It's the GK420D. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and I'm going to go into the printing preferences. I'm going to go into the page setup. Now this is very important. This has four by six right here. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. And this is why some people might have issues with the images. We zero out the fonts on, or the, you know, on each side of here. So we zero that out. We hit OK. And then we hit apply or whatever it is. I go to the graphics. I set this to none. So the, the, the graphics will be darker. It gives it more of a crisp image. I accidentally should have done the darkness now. I'm sorry. So I right click, go back to printing preferences. Then I go into options, uncheck this, and I can set the darkness to 30 if I want. I usually set it for 20, which is, you know, kind of a good in-between number. Um, you can set it up higher and it can go a little bit darker. This is how much heat is applied to the label to produce the image. So then when I go like this, I, you know, this looks like it's set up. Um, I go to, you know, printer properties and I can go ahead and go to general and print a test page. Um, this gen this this will you know print a test page out of here so everything will be good when this installs or whatever. Um, in this case, it's giving me an error because um, how I set it up or whatever. Um, I I had one already in there and I deleted it. So, but yours yours will show up okay and it'll print out a test page. Um, so what I'd like to do is the next step is you know this printer set up right now it should work. You may have to calibrate the, the media so by going to printing preferences um, and there's there's options in here and the other thing you might calibrate it. The other option is, is you can hold down the feed button, the green feed button that's at the top of your printer. And you hold it down until it flashes once, then flashes twice, then release your finger. Then what it'll do is it'll it'll print out a series of you know blank pages. It's gonna be sensing the gap in there and it'll it'll hopefully recalibrate it to your four by six labels. Now the second step is this, you're going to have to log into your eBay account. Um, you're going to have to go into your selling, then you're going to have to go manage all orders, um, then you're going to have to find the item where it's the, on there, and then you're going to you know, click down and it's going to say you know, purchase shipping label, and then once you do you know, that, it'll go ship your order. So I only did this because I don't want to show you my whole personal account. This is what you need to do in eBay. Right before you're going to print the shipping label, you're going to see this on your order. You're going to see whatever you're shipping. And then you're going to scroll down here. And then you see this thing that says show more. So here's the biggest challenge. This is defaulted for an 8 by 11. Now, if you print your label, it's going to come up all weird on there. It's going to act like it's printing an, you know, a 4 by 6 label on a, or no, it's going to act like it's printing an 8.5 by, or 8 by 11 label onto a 4 by 6 printer, so it's going to be real weird. So we have to change this. We can leave it P, um, as a PDF, but we have to scroll this down and set this for a, for that particular one. Now once you purchase this, po this postage and then hit print, it should print flawlessly on, um, you know, on the printer itself. And, and, you know, this is just a good way to do this. So it is a two-step process. Um, you know, we offer free tech support and setup help for anyone that's purchased the printer from us. Um, we offer remote login and stuff like that. So we, we stand behind what we sell. Um, we're at barcodeearth.com. Um, and if you have any questions, you can, you know, go in the comments. But hopefully this helps you set up your GK420D um, on eBay to print shipping labels. Um, if you like this video also, you can subscribe and you can also uh, leave us a, a thumbs up or whatever. And uh, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great one.